Come quietly inside with us now and watch firsthand the birth of a rail, a double-A fuel dragster. The rail of the 60s is a sleek, sophisticated creature that takes shape first on the drawing board and some 40 erasures later begins to take careful shape before the torch and grinder. Metal tubing, lightweight but fully stressed, is used, carefully molded, for the foundation. Once the foundation is there, one man can handle the job, like Tommy Ivo, well-known actor turned professional shoe. All supports for stability are pre-designed. Special gears and bearings built right into the unit. The axles, machined and designed for maximum reliability and performance. Disc brake rotors, an integral part of this type of racing axle. Normally you won't find front brakes on a drag racing machine, so there is extra emphasis on the rear wheel disc brakes. Besides, the rules demand good braking, shoots or no. The tires, oh, what a difference a tire can make. It was the big slick that really propelled drag racing into the big time, and tires are constantly being improved. The front end of the fueler is like the tip of an arrow. It must be light and right, or there will be no truth in all the rest. Balance as delicate as a butterfly's harvest. Now the power. A specially prepared engine lowered onto the pads built into the frame. It'll sit open to better gulp in power giving oxygen. The supercharger is next. Its job to literally force more fuel into the engine cylinders for the sake of more sheer horsepower. A belt, engine to supercharger, positive drive, holding the blower speed in proper proportion to the engine speed. And finally, the cockpit. You'll find all colors and arrangements here, but each has a main theme. Steel line safety, made as light as sophisticated metals will allow. Normally contoured for the individual driver, but how much comfort does one need for a ride that normally lasts less than eight seconds? If the ride is longer than eight seconds, he can go sit under a tree. And if it fits, wrap it in your favorite colors and head for the strip. And Tommy Ivo almost wrapped his brand new double-A fueler right off the starting line. Wow!